Right. Uh, let's go to image with the same idea of what we have just understood with clustering. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I no, I think this skip this file should be skipped anyway. Yeah. Now here there are some images. So in the image folder, you'll see some images. So I'll show you the images. Okay. I just kept a very simple example for image analytics. So there are some images of cats, cows, dogs, and man. And man, I kept Ranbir Kapoor and what is, who is this? Huh? Vicky Kaushal. Okay. So now our here objective is to do a clustering of images. So can we have machine understanding who is a cat, who is a dog, or who is a man? And even if there is some similarity, okay, what sort of similarity is there between different animals? Okay. Okay. No, I don't want to get into any controversy by adding some female pictures. That's the reason I avoided it. Okay. Yeah. We never know what hurts anyone. <laughs> right? Okay. Oh, sorry. Where did I miss out? I think closed it one minute. Okay, so let's, uh, now you got the idea, right? So that is the use case here. So let's look at the clustering, and this is using the image analytics, which is available as an add-on, okay? So as I said, some of them are not available by default, so you have to install that. Now, in your systems, it's installed already as an add-on, but if you are trying to do this again, so you may have to install that, okay? Right, so let me explain. It's very simple. Now that you have got an idea about hierarchical clustering, so now the same idea, I'm conveying it here in the images. Okay, so the first thing what we do is import the images. So I have kept it in the folder, all the images, what are there. So you just have to import that file out here. Okay. So import images, you can see what folder. So you can just access that folder and place it. Right, and you can even try out with new images, dumping in there and then trying out. So you can do that. Save some PG, JPG files there. So all sort of images you can try. Uh, then there is something called image embedding, which is available in the image uh, analytics group. So in, in image analytics group, you get this uh, thing called image embedding. Now this is a Google based algorithm, which has already been implemented and kept here. So what it does is typically those pictures are converted into features. So if you look at image embedding, actually you don't get anything from that. Okay, most of the things even I don't know much, but this is just a neural network. Okay, uh, I think this is a convolution, a convolutional neural network. If I'm not wrong. So it's a, there are again different algorithms in this. I not tried out all, I just tried out one, which was default. So I just used it and see, so. Okay, but you can try different things and see what it will give, okay? So Google's Inception V3 model trained on ImageNet. Okay, so this is what is the feature which, okay. Now you have the images. Now those images are basically only pixels, right? So, but then when you actually look at what data it gets converted into, you will be surprised. There are so many neural network data which will be created based on each of the facets of the picture. So based on, okay, what type of nose they have, what type of eyes they have, everything, right? 
on back of that you will see and you see that there's several data for each of the images so we had only nine images so nine records and you get different neural data you see how much it is created based on that yes it is neural network machine learning right that's why we said this is a course on machine learning so machine learning which is done yeah okay so we don't know it is auto auto created we really don't know what does n2042 mean or what n2043 maybe if you do some more experiment deleting some of these and then again trying out probably you will come to know what it was meant for right but otherwise this is a black box okay so how did it get this data we don't know the formula okay it's a auto learning formula this is machine learning right so it's le machine is learning from these images and then creating ah you can do that's what i'm saying you can do pca and then try that out so there are so many possibilities okay now my idea was to do a clustering so now that we have got nine pictures i want to cluster it saying okay what does it represent does it represent like i have in mind that okay this is these are cats these are dogs these are men okay but is the machine also talking the same uh, uh, thoughts or not so that's what we are trying to see okay and see i have kept a uh, cat which is four legged okay and then the cow which is say cat is two legged so no two legged four only right four legged okay sorry for that so four legs but yeah seemingly it looks like a two leg right and then uh, we have four leg uh, uh, cow and then there is a two leg man so does it understand legs also in the picture don't know yeah that that it will figure it out okay neural network Hey, uh, with this we can even figure out the doppelgangers. Doppelgangers, we say no. Uh, <laughs> like for instance, if you want to figure out uh, whether they will uh, put uh, say Aishwarya Rai and uh, there was one more lady uh, who was look alike, or Zarin Zarin Khan and uh, Katrina Kaif. Okay, I did try that out. That's the reason I didn't. Put the images here for the workshop. Okay, I did try out these things. Now, can uh, doppelgangers be identified? Okay, right. Uh, but you can try that out anyway, right? So, it's a matter of just get, get, getting uh, getting the images and placing it in that folder. Yes. So again, now you see now here we again you are using the distances. So distances, no, there we had used Euclidean, remember? So but for images, uh, this is a distance metric which is used, okay, because of some formula uh, on this. So we use this, okay, and then again I'm doing the hierarchical clustering, and you'll have some interesting observations here. Okay, so this is the observation. Okay. And it will it's proving one particular statement, <laughs> okay. Yes. And I'll tell you what, and you might realize by now. Right. So if I make it three clusters, I make it three clusters. If I make it three clusters, we say men are dogs. Okay, hence proved. Okay, men are dogs. Okay, maybe ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so didn't try that out uh, with female actresses. Probably they may look like cat <laughs> if they're in clustering, right? So you see, this you can do your clusters based on. What choice you want to make? So, if you three cluster solution, men are dogs. 
Okay, if you differentiate between dogs and men, then you want four clusters. <laughs> okay, right? But you can see that now both those cat, cat one, cat two, cat three, I just given the name of the file like that. Just for resemblance purpose, we can figure out that. No, the name of the file. No. There was a choice somewhere if you can pick name of the file also. Ah, uh, there was a correct, correct. I did. Yes, yes. Yeah, image name is here only. You can use the annotation in the image name. So image name deliberately I gave that uh, the file name is the image name actually. So that's why it's given this. Yeah. So yeah, so pretty much that. And then you can actually look at the images with the clusters being formed. So you can look at the image viewer. In the image viewer, you see, you can even see the pictures with their clusters. Yeah, images in a short thing, and you can see the. So you can give the image and uh, title attribute cluster. So you see the a lot of annotations possibilities. Yeah, so this is uh, a higher order. Understanding of the basic machine learning techniques for unstructured data. Okay. Right. 